My name is Craig Brumwell. I am a Vancouver educator who is completing the Masters of Educational Technology program at the University of British Columbia in December 2016. This video presents the learning I have experienced in the process of creating my graduating ePortfolio project for eTech 590. This process has changed over the course of the term. I expected it to be one of collection and documentation, and instead I discovered a journey of transformation, a reflective affirmation of my knowledge building, technical mastery, and meaning making over the past three years of my learning journey. I use the metaphor of a river to frame my ePortfolio. I chose it because I wanted to describe a complex system that involved a journey and a change over time. As a geography teacher, the river idea was a natural analog. Rivers are dynamic and generative. They embody interconnectedness, growth, and momentum. I sensed that it would illustrate interesting parallels to my ePortfolio, but I did not anticipate the extent to which the river imagery connected the artifacts, reflections, and design of the site. This ePortfolio is conceptually organized to convey movement and flow. All pages require the visitor to actively scroll through the sections to view the content. The five main pages are accessible through the site navigation system and are also visible on the menu bar. The landing or home page presents a satellite image of a river system and invites the viewer to enter the site. The river metaphor is described at the top of the introduction page, followed by the rationale, the framework, including the criteria for artifact selection, and navigation suggestions. The network nature of a river is reflected in this site navigation design. System connections are reinforced visually and thematically through a number of options. There is no next button on any page. This reinforces artifact access through multiple linked choices rather than a common linear approach. The first option, the river, allows the visitor to choose a starting point from which to move up or downstream or go directly between course icons which frame the artifacts. In the second option, stages of the river, Course icons are connected metaphorically to regions along the river's path from source to mouth that share a common profile. A third choice, linking artifacts by theory and technology, is embedded at the bottom of each artifact's connections page. All three navigation systems have been designed so visitors can always choose from a selection of options that share common criteria, reinforcing their interconnected nature. Each artifact is accessed through its course page to a summary section with links that connect to Reflections and Connections subpages. Short context and description teaser texts link to these pages through Read More links. This structure allows visitors to explore the artifact information without being confronted by large blocks of text. The artifacts themselves are accessed through their Reflections page or directly through the artifact icon. The Connections section extends the reflections to consider theory, research, technology, and other courses. Out to Sea is the last page of the site. It is equivalent to a more page and offers my final thoughts, an assessment rubric, references, and my information. I kept all my readings, notes, and posts from the courses I have taken in the MET program, but I was still apprehensive about creating a comprehensive e-portfolio of my work. The pace and intensity of the program led me to believe that I would likely lose some elements of my learning, especially some of the theory in the early courses. My strategy was to use Donald Shawn's theoretical framework of knowing in action to address this issue, making tacit knowledge of theory more explicit as a means to enable deeper reflection. My process for selecting artifacts began with revisiting archived materials, then rereading some of the theory and research from the modules we were covering during that time in class. I discovered that the information was not only familiar, but that I had applied much of it into my later MET courses as well as my teaching practice. My initial dread turned into a period of curiosity. Activities in eTech 590, such as reviewing ePortfolios of past students, creating and iterating assessment rubrics, and developing a proposal all helped to scaffold the process and build my confidence. My artifact selection and reflections process ramped up as I recognized the role that each class had in my current work and interests. My workflow became a process of reading, rereading, coding, making connections, and writing. The links to the river metaphor continued to grow, especially after the midpoint of the term when I designed the second navigation system, Stages of the River. However, my most transformative learning was unexpected and came through a different form of metacognition. 
Once my rough draft was complete, I began hyperlinking concepts, terms, and technologies in the text of my reflections. At the same time, I was adding my citations and references. The mechanics of this process allowed me to recognize connections to theory, research, and technology objectively through patterns and frequency, then apply my learning to articulate those connections. The result was that I was able to identify the main theoretical influences on my body of work. This was when the idea for the third navigation system came to me. It would be another linking of artifacts through course icons that share common theory running beneath the main system. As I grouped those courses, I was able to recognize how my current focus and trajectory for situated, game-based, and mobile media learning all connected back through my MET experience to earlier courses. I began the MET program in September 2013 with limited classroom experience designing learning with technology, no theoretical background, but a good deal of enthusiasm. I leave it now three years later with a strong knowledge of theory and current research, rich pedagogical ideas, a deep skill set and a wide scope of learning strategies that I have used in my own classes. I've traveled to and presented at six conferences, summits and workshops in the past 18 months and been recognized by two national awards, all as a result of my experience and learning in the MET program. Most importantly, my teaching practice has been transformed and I see myself positioned to help other educators rethink approaches to curricula with educational technologies. It's been a rewarding journey.